and welcome this is Elena and today I have uh, this card to show you how I make using the August So Susie stamp of the month today is the 10th of the month so today is the reveal of the August stamp and that's the sentiment I just showed you so I'm starting with a watercolor uh, panel I'm using the Arches watercolor paper and I'm positioning another stamp uh, from um, stamp of the month. This was from July. So those two stamps go perfectly together. So I'm using both of them. So this is a very gorgeous compass stamp. So I'm positioning in my Misty and securing it with my magnets. And then I'm just going to apply some embossing, uh, not powder, but a tool like the little kind of powder to make the embossing powder not stick to the cardstock where there's no ink. So I'm just going over it and then inking my stamp with Versamark ink a couple times. So because uh, the watercolor pa paper has some texture to it. So that way I have very good impression onto the watercolor paper. Next, I'm using some white embossing powder and I'm just going to apply that over the image that I just stamped and make sure that it's nicely covered. And then I'm going with a little paint brush uh, to remove the excess uh, powder that's around the compass. So next I'm just going to use my heat gun to emboss to melt the embossing powder. So you can see how that powder starts to melt and kind of disappear but next I'll apply some color so you will be able to see the compass. I'm using the new Winsor & Newton uh, watercolor markers. I just purchased those and I was anxious to try them so I'm using a couple of the blues and a purple So and those work perfectly. I just love how rich the colors, how intense the color is and how well they blend. Like they don't leave any marks on the paper. So I'm just, uh, as you saw, I applied just on one end of that compass and then I'm just moving that color around and outside of the compass. So next I'm just removing that color from a brush to blend the edges kind of to not have sharp transition between color and um, the white watercolor paper so I have that softer look where the color is kind of disappearing uh, gradually. So next I'm just going to go with a purple and add some um, on some spots and kind of blend it in again with my watercolor uh, brush. So you can see how intense that color is. So and like just adding more color makes that white embossing powder, the white image even pop even more. So I'm just adding more in the center to make the center darker and a little bit on one of the sides of the compass. So next I'm go, gonna go with a lighter blue. And this is, uh, those colors are from the 12 pack of Windsor and Newton um, that are available at the art supply store or you can uh, buy it on Amazon. That's where I got mine. It was a great price. So, and I'm adding some more purple here. Can I make that compass look a little bit funky and can I have that nice blend of colors because for the sentiment I'll be using the mermaid ombre ink from Hero Arts. So it that one as well has blue and purple. It goes from blue bit to purple. So kind of coordinates uh, to coordinate with the image. So I'm just adding a little bit more water like clean water with a brush and blending again those edges there. So next there is the sentiment. This is the August stamp of the month. So I'm just trying to position where I want it to be on the card. And the sentiment says, may your anchor 
be tight, your cork be loose, your rum be spiced, and I can read the rest, <laughs> and your compass be true. So that last line coordinating with the compass, so that's why I decided to use the compass set uh, stamp from uh, July. So here's my ombre ink. It's new, it's first time used, so I really like how it goes from purple to blue. So I'm stamping it twice to get a better impression because the cardstock is, as I said, it's textured because it's watercolor paper, it's uh, cold press watercolor paper. I'll have linked in my blog to which one I used. Next, I just die cut that panel and I'm tying some uh, Knight of Navy um, Baker twine, Baker's twine. This one is from Stampin' Up. So it went very nicely with um, the color of the compass and the stamp sentiment. So next I'll add some Nuva Drops. Those are available in the So Suzy um, store. So I'll have a link on my blog for that. And then on the back of my um, panel, I'm applying some mounting tape. And I'm trying to cover the whole area. So I have like nice, because it's again, thicker cardstock, well, watercolor paper. So I wanna make sure that it's nice and that lies flat onto my card base. And for my card base, I'm using Nina White, uh, 110 pound cardstock just perfect for card bases. So there we have the card, so now it's uh, time to embellish it. So I'm using the Nuva Drops. I forget the name, I'll have the link of uh, and the name of those. It's like dark blue uh, glitter, glittery Nuva Drops. And next I'm using some sequins to add a little bit more sparkle to the card and a little bit more detail. And then I'm using some uh, pico embellisher to adhere those. I have transferred the Pico Embellisher, as you will see in just a second, into fine line bottle, because I left my bottle open so it dried, so can I learn my lesson? So I'm just adhering all the sequins, and that finishes my card. So here's the finished card. Thanks for watching, and see you soon. Bye!